Right, hi guys, so I'm back again with another little Unreal uh, material tutorial. This time I had a question from a viewer, um, and it was, how can I scale a sphere mask uh, in a non-uniform way to create kind of like a long, thin stretch thing? So, uh, before we get into that, what is a sphere mask? Um, so, it's a node in Unreal. Um, if we have a look at the documentation, it says, output a mask value based on a distance calculation. Uh, input 1, input 2, da da da. And it's saying here, this preview object will smoothly fade to black as the camera exceeds 250 units away from it. So basically, it takes two points, um, and one of them is the center of the sphere, one of them is the point that we're checking, uh, and I will quickly demo that. And then we get a radius and a hardness, so the size of the sphere, and then a hardness, so like a, a fall off. So, um, in this case, I'm just going to use the world position uh, as my input A, so that's the thing I'm going to be checking, the, the pixel being rendered. I'm just going to create a simple vector parameter, in this case we're going to leave that at zero, and then we have two radius and height. Uh, and so I'm just going to put these guys in, set up some defaults, and let's say 512. I've already got it applied to this plane, but refresh it, or this box. Here we are. So the radius, yeah, I can scale that sphere up, down. Uh, hardness, I can control the fall off the edge. Um, and I can move the center. So it's drawing a sphere at the center at 0, 0, 0, uh, and comparing it against the pixel. So if I was to take this box, get it move it up, see that's actually the sphere is getting smaller. It's being drawn in world space, and I can move the sphere up in Z, say 50, up, if you can see that, so the, the, the center of the sphere in this case is moving. Um, so the actual question was how can we scale it, so the, the setup they were using, oops, this, using the object position as the uh, center of their sphere, and then or position as the to check. So effectively they were making a fall off. In this case, the center of each of these spheres is going to be the center of the object, the object position, and then the world position, that's just the pixels that are being uh, rendered on the object. Um, and we can change this radius and the hardness and things, but what happens if we wanted to scale this? Um, so if we just try multiplying our world position by a scale factor, Set that to be one by that. So obviously he's multiplying by one, nothing's gonna happen. I multiply by 0.5. Oh, it's starting to look decent. So that's it's doing some scaling. It's the, the opposite, isn't it? So a value of two is giving us half the size. But what happens if I scale in a different axis? Ah, it's not so good. So it's scaling around the world origin, which is fine for this object, because it's at the world origin or Close enough. Um, but these objects, if I change that to just 0.9, you can see it's scaling those values away from that center. Um, easy fix. If we take our world position and take away the object position first, get with this. Now, when we multiply, we're going to be scaling around always the same point, that same zero, zero, and all we can do is just add that object position back in to our sphere mask. So now, if I have done this correctly, we're taking the data that we've got, moving it somewhere that we can do our scaling around. Scaling in this axis, that's fine. If we scale in this axis, it's fine as well. Actually, visual there, but um, so there it is, so it's how we can do our scaling with our sphere mask. Um, pretty useful, pretty useful thing. Um, yeah, hope that's helpful, hope that answers the question that, uh, that was being asked. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, uh, and I'll be back next week, hopefully, with another lesson. Um,